اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان اللہ و ملائکته یسلون علی النبی یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلم تسلیما اللہم صلی علی سیدنا محمد و علی آل سیدنا محمد کما صلیت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید اللہم بارک علی سیدنا محمد و علی آل سیدنا محمد کما بارکت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید My respected brothers and sisters The days of Sirat al-Nabi's program or Rabi al-Awwal They are a kind of reminder to us That as Muslims, as believers We increase our relationship with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We increase our love for him alayhi salatu wa sallam So that this love Encourages us to imitate him To follow him and to follow the message for which he has sacrificed so much. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-Ahzab that one of the ways to respect him, to glorify him, to honor him, and to increase your love for him is by means of sending salutation upon him and peace and salah upon him. If you know, look into the words of the ayah. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Certainly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself and his angels, they send their salawat, their peace upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, O you the believers, sallu alayhi. You also send your peace upon him. وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا And send him the salutation or the salam which is worthy of his mansab, his position and his dignity. Wallahi, just the construction of the ayah itself is so important that I can make entire khutbah about just the construction of the ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts the ayah in Allah. Certainly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it is so certain, it is so yaqeen that nobody can doubt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is engaged in sending the peace and salah upon Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why would he start the word inna? Because it is very unusual that the Lord of the universe is sending peace upon one of his creatures. It is difficult to believe. That's where he says, In Allah, certainly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and not only him, who is after him in purity. Angels, and now what is the issue? The issue is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing something his angels are included in that act. And now, whatever is happening in Mala'il A'la, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants it to happen in Mala'il Adna. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. O you the believers, if you want to have this kind of relationship with al Mala'il A'la, you want to engage yourself in something which is really spiritual, which is really pure, which is really meritorious, then look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does, you do it too, you will be in connection with that malayil a'la. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Second thing, second point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say inna Allah wa malaikatahu sallu ala nabi that they did their salat upon Rasulullah sallam. It is sufficient for Malikul Mulk even to say one time, I send peace upon such and such. And sometimes, even if you look into the constructions of some of the other verses of the Quran, 
اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی سیز جنیریکلی سبحان ربک رب العزت عما یسفون و سلام علی المرسلین والحمدللہ وکل الحمدللہ و سلام علی عباده اللذی نستفا آلہ خیر عما یشرکون اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی talks about the peace but he does not use فیل مدارے because فیل مدارے in Arabic language comes for something which is constant continuous in hal right now and will continue in the future this is دوام and بقا and استمرار so what does he say ان اللہ و ملائکتو یسلون على النبی this act of salat is constant it is daim it is baqin it is happening right now it will continue till the day of judgment as long as this existence is in existence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to send his peace upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his angels feel obliged to send the peace upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because they are imitating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one more point my brothers and sisters if you look into the Quranic verses you will see there is nothing in the Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the believers that do because I am doing it he is Rabbul Izzah he commands and his commands are are to be nobody can question him لا يسألوا عما يفعلوا وهم يسألون when he wants to command he says أقيم الصلاة do the salah آت الزكاة give الزكاة أتم الحج ولا تقرب الزنا whatever he wants to command he commands but this is a command before asking the believers he is telling them I do it too so when you will do it you will not love only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you will follow my commandment and my action there is nothing in the Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in before any amr I do it my angels do it so you do it too this is the only place inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayuhal ladhina ah before asking you he says I do it and my angels do it now sometimes some of the scholars have mentioned that yes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his peace even upon the believers huwa allazi yusalli alaykum wa malaikatuhu li yukhrijakum min zhurumati ila nur wa kana bil mu'minina rahima tahiyyatuhum you know the ayah of surah al-ahzab that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does say in surah al-ahzab that him and his angels they send their peace upon the believers because he loves now remember one thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not require anything over there after mentioning that one so that incident is not which is comparable with this verse of the Quran so this is the only verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before commanding the believers Tell them, I do it, my angels do it. How much meritorious act you can ask me after that. Also, remember one thing, my brothers and sisters. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does something, his angels do something, and then you do something because your Lord has commanded you. This is called ma'iyya. Being companion, fellowship doing the things which somebody else is doing so when you say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad you are becoming in fellowship with the angels with Rabbul Izza because this is what he said he is doing it when you do it you are engaged in the same act ma'iyyatillah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the utmost tashreef for a believer now it is quite different. Rabbul Izza is far higher than Rasulullah sallallahu The angels dua for him is something different. Because salla yusalli in Arabic language means a da'ala. And this does not make sense that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is praying for Rasulullah sallallahu Because he himself is the source of prayers and honor. 
it is just like when you say the dad loves the son and the son loves the dad the brother loves the brother and Muslim community is kind to each other all of us we know the love of the father or mother is totally different than the love of the son the love of the believers for each other is totally different so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his peace upon Rasulullah sallam, he sends his barakat upon Rasulullah sallam. he elevates his darajat alayhi salatu was salam when angels when they pray they also say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad they are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to elevate his darajat but when you and me we do we are far lesser than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we are not even allowed to say O oh Rasulullah sallam peace be unto you because we are nobody to send him the gift we are so sinful and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not leave it to us to devise the formulas of salutation or peace upon Rasulullah sallam he also taught us through the revelation when sahaba asked him ya Rasulullah sallam how do we say salam to you he say what you say in tashahud assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakat how do we send the salutation upon you ya Rasulullah he completely told them what we call salat ibrahimi Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim innaka Hamidun Majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim innaka Hamidun Majid So even the formula tells you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not asking you to do the salawat upon Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam needed it no لم يكن له حاجة لم تكن له حاجة He does not need the salawat from you and me What is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to tell you? Look back Just ask yourself And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says يا أيها الذين آمنوا اذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا وسبحوه بكرة وأسيلا O you the believers Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frequently اذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا and remember him day and night does he need your remembrance is he in need of your and my praise towards him no whatever is in the heavens and whatever is upon the earth is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he does not need your prayer or my prayer he is telling you this is the secret of getting close to me as much as you will remember me you will love me you will obey me you will get closer to me so in the same fashion he is telling you O oh the mu'mineen you owe to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa so much that if you will remember him if you will send your salutation upon him in reality you are kind of thanking him for the honor dignity and the grace he has done to you you are paying him off a little bit and by means of this gratitude you will earn the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is telling you that you are not capable you will have to ask me that's where when we send our salam we exactly reiterate or repeat what happened in Isra and Mi'raj when Rasulullah sallam went to Isra he sat down and said At-tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibat Ya Allah, my physical, my spiritual, my whatever I am, whatever kind of ibadah, I do it Lillah At-tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibat Respond comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh So exactly whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him We are repeating and in the salah we are not saying salli ala nabi or you know usalli ala nabi no allahumma salli ala muhammad oh allah you send your peace because you are the only one who is higher than him and can give him something so my brothers and sisters it's not that muhammad sallam needs you and me by means of doing this part we are obeying the commandment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
we are fulfilling our responsibility towards our Muhsin Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi sallam we are engaging in the act of shukr at the same time we are increasing our qurb min Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qurb min Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also qurb from our destination because that love is needed for the proper ittiba for the proper destination so after these basic you know muqaddimat i really want to remind my brothers and sisters that it's not easy to incorporate an act of ibadah in your regular schedule human beings we are masha allah given to our own responsibilities and our own commitments and very often the spiritual commitments they take a lot of efforts from us because they are not part of our daily schedules when we hear the khutbah we go back and we make it part of our salawat or part of our activities and then masha allah the season goes away and we go back to the same track but this is something which is a source of our i would say demise i would say the ummah is really suffering because that relationship with rasulullah sallam with the person who is the source of our hidayah after allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is missing so by these khutbas the reminder is done every year make that part of your daily schedule and wallahi if you look into what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has required us he somehow knew our nature and our weakness he did not leave it to us when it comes to the issue of obligation because he, 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 he ordered us commanded us send your salutation he made it part of our salawat so if a person does five times daily prayer in each salah he has to say assalamu alayka ayyuha nabiyyu and if the salat e ibrahimi or darood sharif is not done in the salah the salah is nullified it's not accepted so if a person is regular in his or her salah that person will fulfill his obligation anyway because he will be required to say assalamu alayka ayyuha nabiyyu wa rahmatullah and allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad but that does not take care of our additional responsibility something is obligatory you just get it done and you never do anything else no it is also wajib outside salah and mustahab in so many ways to incorporate that kind of relationship with rasulullah sallam into our daily schedules and now there are timings which are thought to be the mustahab time when it comes to sending the salutation upon rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam especially the day of juma and the night of juma the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam made it clear in the hadith that the night of juma which is the night of thursday which is starting the day of juma actually till the sunset of the day of friday this is the best time to send the salutation and peace upon me اقصروا علي من الصلاه فان صلاتكم معروضه علي that do it on the day of friday because when you send your salutation allah subhanahu wa ta'ala communicates it to me whatever way he wants to so the day of juma and the night of juma this is the best time for you to continuously do allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad or increase your relationship with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and you know some of the scholars of this ummah this used to be their habit that some of them would do every day 100000 time allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala ali sayyidina and it's recorded some of them will do 125000 time a day you can imagine following the hadith of ubay bin ka and that hadith is very famous hadith and is narrated by authentic sources Ubay bin Ka'b radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anabi qala kana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam idha dhahaba sulasa al-layl qam fa qala ya ayuha an-nas uzkurullah uzkurullah ja'at ar-rajifa tatbaw ar-radifa ja'a al-mawtu bima fi ja'a al-mawtu bima fi 
in the later part of the night when the one third is left Rasulullah Sallam used to go and make announcement in masjid and sometimes even in the streets of Makkah oh people you are sleeping but you know death is approaching and the day of judgment is approaching make up something do something for that one prepare something for that one and he says one day when Rasulullah Sallam made this kind of statement and I was also in the masjid Kultu ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam inni uksir as salat alay now this is the time for tahajjud and Sayyidina Ubay bin Kaab says ya Rasulullah Sallam I do tahajjud but this is my habit that I frequently send peace upon you and keep on saying Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad fakam aj'alu laka min salati how much time should I spend on sending the salutation upon you? Fakala mashid, do whatever you want to do. Kala kulturuba. I said I will donate or I will devote one fourth of my salah time salutation upon you. He said, Mashid, do whatever you want to do for in zitta fahuwa khairullah. But if you increase it, it will be good for you. He said, Kultunis, okay, what? If I make half of my timing for my salah and dua for you, he said, Mashid, fa in zitta fa khairullah. Do whatever you want to do, but if you want to make it more, it will be good for you. Fa kult, fa sulusain. What about what? Two third of all of my salah, kult mashid, fa in zitta fa khairullah. If you add more, it will be good for you. He said, Okay, I'm going to do all of my timing of this additional salah and dua for you and sending the salutation upon you. I will not do anything during my dua and the extra salah time except Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad. Now this is the answer of Rasulullah He said, Izan tukfa hammak wa yukfar laka zambak. Then your pains, your sorrows, your tensions will be taken care of and your sins will be forgiven which means you will have the success in this dunya no gum or hum or pain or depression will come and cover you and your sins will be forgiven so on the day of judgment you are forgiven. My brothers and sisters this is coming from the Habib of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Rasulullah sallam is explaining the limit Sahaba ridwanullah alim ajma'in are applying it the salaf of this ummah they have learned from it and they are making it part of their regular duties where do we stand from this act of what? thawab how much time do we remember to make conscious efforts to say Ya Rasulullah Sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad or continue it after each salah or at those specific times. And I'm going to just count those times and maybe inshallah continue this khutbah later on because there are so many ahadiths and there are so many points which I would love to share with you because I like to share this kind of sometime lataif you know the ishara. The day of Juma, after each salah, this is this used to be the habit, and because Rasulullah Sallam said that after each salah, if a person does ten times, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad after each salah, that person hullat lahu shafaati. If this becomes the habit of a person, that after each salah the person says at least ten times, send salutation upon me on the day of judgment that person's shafa becomes wajib upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And also in the morning and in the evening. It depends upon your schedule. You can do it hundred times while ironing your clothes or mashallah getting ready for your office or going to the office. Do it ten times, hundred times depending upon your relationship and your schedule. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَسَبِّحُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَسِيلًا and glorify him sallallahu alayhi wa in the morning and in the evening. So you are fulfilling that commandment of Rasulullah sallallahu Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu that after wudu, the hadith is authentic hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu that 
the Prophet ﷺ said, when you make the wudu, after the wudu, you send your salutation upon me, and you make the dua, Allahumma ja'alni min al-tawwabin wa ja'alni min al-mutatahirin, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make Jannah wajib upon you, but you have to do it after each wudu. So when you are done with wudu, send the salutation upon Rasulullah sallam and make the dua, Allahumma ja'alni min al-tawwabin wa ja'alni min al-mutatahirin. Oh Allah, make me among the people who are doing tawbah and those who are purified. And some of them, they said, in addition to the hadith, that after you make the dua, you also say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. And the reason they say, that this is a duty which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has assigned you to perform. He said, sallu alayhi. So when you say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, angels directly take it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's code, because they do not need the permission. He has already said, do it. So when somebody does it, they have to take it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is the only one who can send his dua and peace upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So whenever you say in between those two things, it is definitely communicated to the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, you make this dua, Ya Allah, make me among the pure and forgiven one. You also say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, so they have to take that one also. In between whatever is said will definitely go to Subhanahu wa ta'ala. More chances of acceptance and more chances of the response. I'll stop here, inshallah, we'll continue it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to incorporate this hukum, this wajib upon us into our practical life. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, when we love somebody, we love to talk about that person. It gives us peace of mind. It, you know, just, just the mention of that person's name bring some kind of special reaction in one's body, thinking, and one's even speech. So if you really, really want to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you really want to love Rasulullah sallam, remember them. Uzkurullah, dhikran kathira, and also, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. And this is agreed upon the ummah's scholarship. Whenever you will remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will definitely remember me. Fazkuruni azkurkum. No if and but. He just said, you remember me, you remember me. In mala'il adna, I will remember you in mala'il a'la. According to his position. And also, whenever you will send Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the spot says ten times to you, peace be unto you. As the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Man salla alayya marratan, sallallahu alayhi ashra. You say one time, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ten times, peace be unto you, my servant. And if the peace, the rahmah, and the salam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes to you, do you think you will be bothered by anybody? Is somebody greater than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or more powerful than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it depends upon you. How much salam, how much peace, and how much blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you want, just increase your relationship with Rasulullah sallam and the beginning and also the sense of maturity of that relationship is included in our salawat and salam upon Rasulullah sallam. أقول قول هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم